Basically, I'm a PhD holder from IIT Madras uh, in biochemistry and genetics, and I have done my master's from Avinash Lingam Women's University in Coimbatore. And during my college days, again, I was very interested in community work, and we had our um, founder of the university, Ayya Vergal, who always said science should reach community. So what's the point in having a technology or science when it doesn't reach a community? Public health has always been in my mind and of course due to lots of necessities I was after finishing my PhD I was abroad in Singapore in US and I've been working in multinational but once my child came, uh, my son came to the ninth standard I thought I should I should start working in the community when I started working on a World Bank project it just started off I was doing the groundwork and then we had to adopt some villages that was when I was in touch with the uh, Sundra Medical Foundation to have some of the villages adopted for the projects on malabsorption. It all came through when it was uh, granted and it was about to be released when the tsunami came in and the government went back saying the project will be shelved for some time. So that is when I went to tell uh, Dr. Arjun that it is shelved and that's when he told me there's a project on muscular dystrophy. Uh, Dushin muscular dystrophy and if I'll be interested in setting it up and it was again Dr. Vishwanathan on the clinical side whom I was in touch with and just started the diagnostic facility which was under the stitching porticus grant. It was a Dutch grant and uh, there were around 21 sites all over the world to which it was given and it was through one Dr. Eric Hoffman who has isolated the dystrophin gene. Of course, when I started, I didn't know much about the disorder. And yes, of course, being technical, we just started off and I had an in, in initial collaboration with Dr. Eric Hoffman when I went to his lab in the US. And then coming back and we, of course, standardized new protocols which had just come up. And coming back, uh, I was not aware of the intensity of the problem in the country. So started off with the basic genetics and PCR. And what started as molecular diagnostic facility slowly grew up to because we understood we have to identify which is very important the mutation in it because muscular dystrophies are many varieties and we are dealing with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and spinal muscular atrophy both of which are pediatric neuromuscular disorders. So identifying the mutation becomes very crucial because earlier even now clinicians um, work with muscle biopsies. See, they take a muscle biopsy and generally a histochemistry is done. Better would be immunohistochemistry, but we could avoid muscle biopsy. To confirm the disorder, 3 ml of blood is good enough. You just 3 ml of blood from the child. You extract the DNA and you can confirm the mutation. So we started with molecular diagnostics and from the basic method, we evolved to the advanced method of MLPA where we could study all the 79 exon. And we were the first in India to do it and we have a very good publication in it. It's an X-linked disorder. The gene is in the X chromosome. So women are never affected. It generally affects, it mostly affects boys because they just have one X and women have two Xs. So there's always the other X which supports. And so phenotypically they are never affected and they are generally carriers. And so identifying the mutation apart from helping from getting into any therapeutic strategy or benefiting from it has a role in preventing while we understand the mutation in the child it's easier to identify the mutation in the mother. So the disorder as such as the child is born very normal till three years you don't understand he's very very normal bubbly child then the first symptom we see is the frequent falls you fall the child falls often and then the parents think oh he is not uh, eating properly he is weak and all that but before they reach a neurologist or a trained physician pediatrician it becomes around five years so that is when they come and then we we were doing the molecular diagnosis where we could tell the family yes and then we had to counsel them through where the counseling had 
genetic counseling, psychosocial counseling, and again reproductive counseling. We are close to a three year foundation where we have close to around 3,500 plus cases and uh, Indian Council of Medical Research has come forward to give us a center for advanced research in neuromuscular disorders and we are also setting up the model registry for the country and I feel these are the children and families who need help and the help and the hand has to be though we are a foundation we are very professional all our services which we offer is free of cost to the patient there is no money transaction between the patient and us so how do we manage the funds so i write in proposals get very structured grants and then we offer it to the patients so the molecular diagnostics the wonderful dna bank we have the counseling care sets a wonderful base for research tomorrow i haven't found um, any impediment because I was a woman? No. I have a great team of female pe uh, females with me, wonderful girls, uh, all qualified and yes, a bunch of nice boys. And I find being a woman, we have to be fortunate. And as I say, the power of X chromosome, all the important genes are in the X chromosome. And I think we have lots of strength and we can always deliver. And yes, being a mom, yes, that's always a challenge to meet up what is at home and thing. And I have a very supportive family and a very understanding son. Of course, at times there are complaints, but I try and manage to do my best in other front. <laughs> it is the Healthcare Achievement Award and um, it's given by Donato Tramonto is a founder of Health E Villages and he's a CEO and chairman and my whole team and family deserves it because we strongly believe together we make a difference. Nothing can be done alone and it's for all of us.